Where do you think it went wrong for your bowling attack? I think uh, they batted exceptionally well, uh, especially Brendan Taylor. And I think Sikandar Raza's innings was the difference. He just came and, you know, like uh, there's some clean hitting. Uh, bowling wise, yes, uh, we could have done better, but it was just one of those days where batting was uh, exceptional. And like as a, as a bowling unit, we tried different plans and different things, but um, they batted us uh, literally out of the game, like scoring 380. And as the batting side, um, faced with such a huge total, uh, what was your plan in that innings? Were you just trying to bat time, see how many you could get, or were you, were you trying to go for the runs? We just wanted to like, uh, like take one ball at a time. And for us, it was very important that we at least try and get as close to the score as possible. Uh, because uh, 380, like, it's, it's a pretty big score, to be very honest. Uh, but still, we just wanted our batters to go out there and be positive. We knew that it was a good wicket. Uh, maybe a couple of our starts could have been uh, maybe into 80s, and maybe one of us, if we could have got 100, and that would have set us uh, a, a very good platform moving forward. But still, we managed to get 260-odd runs. And so if, if, if we had balled maybe slightly better and had restricted them to around 300, 310, maybe things could have been different. But still, uh, first game of the tournament, uh, and I mean, it, it, it just didn't work for us today. Um, what aspects of uh, Nippur cricket, uh, yes, you lost the game, but what aspects of Nippur cricket could you say uh, uh, you managed uh, to show uh, all the fans that came today to watch the game? I think we tried to fight till the end. Uh, obviously, when a team in opposition bats the way they did, uh, the bowling and the feeding doesn't look as sharp, but I think we took almost all the chances that we had. Uh, but uh, like I said, it was just one of those days where the two batsmen out there really batted exceptional. And for us, uh, as a batting unit, we tried to stay in the wicket and get uh, close to the target as possible. Uh, like We could have gone all out and like maybe got out for 100, 120, 30, but I think our batting batters still wanted to get some, to spend some time in the middle and try and get close to the score. So, like I said, uh, if we had balled better and executed our plans, maybe uh, we could have restricted them to a lesser score and maybe we could have eventually chased it down as well. But still, it's, 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 it's a learning phase, uh, I think, for us as a team. Uh, every game, uh, especially playing against teams like Zimbabwe, where you don't get to play them often, I'm sure there's going to be a lot of uh, experience for the boys that have played the game today. And for us moving forward, I hope we can you know, carry this, the learnings from today and try and not repeat them the mistakes that we made today in the following games. A couple of 50s from your batsmen, uh, probably one should have gone on to maybe in anger the innings or even square 100. Yeah, I mean, see, I think if you look at the batting scorecard, like a couple of guys got 50s and 40s and 30s. So it's just that moving forward, we'll need a uh, couple of our batters to step up. Uh, couple, I mean, they got a couple of hundreds, and that set the platform for us. Maybe if we can do the same in the, in the coming matches, uh, that'll set us uh, for better things. 380 against any team on any ground is, is very difficult to chase, but just talking about the batting, you must be happy that uh, you had guys down the order and you batted through the inning, scoring at a decent rate all the time. And as you say, if it was maybe 300, then you probably would have had an opportunity at the end. Yeah, see, I mean, on the hindsight, you can say that, but uh, maybe the, uh, the batters, uh, maybe they just had the freedom to go f like full out. And I think they, they tried and played the came as much as possible. So that way, they're very, very positive. And just that we managed to get 260, 270 odds. So for us, uh, like if, if we managed to ball better than what we did today, I'm sure posting around 270, 280 moving forward uh, like will be a good uh, competitive score. But having said that, the wicket looks uh, exceptionally good. And it's all about uh, getting your plans, execution, and just maybe if, if the ballers can stick to their, you know, like the basics of bowling those Yorkers and, you know, bowling the stock balls, maybe we can come up with a better performance. You've got two, three days off now before your next game. What's going to be the plan and training to make sure that you guys lift yourselves and are ready for the next game? Yeah, uh, our next game is in Scotland uh, on the 8th, uh, three days into it. Uh, tomorrow we're going to take a day off and next following days is going to be training. And so looking forward to it. Okay. Thanks a lot for Thank us. Thank you. Cheers. Congrats, Kriam, uh, uh, on that uh, great win. Um, how, how was the feeling in the, the team to get that uh, to get on, on, a, on a good note? 
Yeah, it was, it was good to get out there today and, and, you know, get some big runs. You know, we've, we've been asking for runs from the top order and, you know, um, Mayor and Solomon set a great foundation for us. And then, you know, I suppose from one to, one to six, I mean, they all contributed. I mean, Roz and Brendan were exceptional today. I mean, 200s, you know, and to get 380. It's probably a, it's probably a 270, 280 wicket. So, you know that sort of tells you, you know us getting 100 runs more. It's, you know, it was an excellent, excellent effort from the from the batting lineup. Quite often you get a guy who's aggressive and he's well supported by another player. Today they both went um, at the top of the innings. Was that something in, in terms of a game plan, or maybe because you're playing a slightly inexperienced opposition at this level? No, that's a that's a game plan. Uh, that's that, that's how both of them play, and I, I think even if we asked them to change, they, they probably wouldn't. So, you know, it, it's we, we're just hoping at least one of them will come off every game. But you know, it makes it really difficult for the opposition if both of them do. Um, so, you know, if we get that foundation, it just makes it so much easier for our middle order, and it showed today. So basically, they both got a license. <clears throat> yeah, definitely. Um, Graham, perhaps uh, uh, just a word on how the pitch played today. It obviously wasn't a 380 wicket, as you said, but uh, what, what was going on? Uh, I think it was it was quite tough for the seamers. Um, you know, the ball came on nicely. Um, tough for the spinners also in a way that, you know, it was quite slow, but at least there, there was a bit of spin. Um, but I just thought the way our guys played the spin, you know, we, we almost got a boundary and over there. And the way the guys rotated the strike was excellent, but probably a little bit more suited to to spin. But you know, I think our our seamers today in saying that they were probably a bit off the mark. I think in in terms of executing line and length, um, which we'll have a chat about tomorrow. But yeah, all in all, it was a good wicket, I think. Mm. And obviously, this wasn't the only game <clears throat> happening in in Bulawayo today. Did you hear about the result from BAC, and does that throw the tournament wide open? Yeah, I did hear the result. I, I didn't hear the the scores, but uh, uh, it was a big surprise. And and credit to Scotland because um, Afghan are, are are a strong team, and you know they they've got a they've got a good lineup. Um, so you know to to beat them uh, is is a great effort, and and I suppose it just opens up our group, and the next couple of games will be really important. Um, any update on Sean Williams' finger? Yeah, we're, we're going to see tomorrow, but I, I can't see him playing the next the next one or two games. I don't think you know he's just had the pin out, and you know there's still a wound there, and he can't really bring uh, bend his finger yet, um, which is unfortunate for us because we would have really liked to have him. As, you know, not not only as an extra batter in the middle order, but also to bowl. Um, so we'll just monitor him. He, he's dying to get out there onto the park, but you know we we, we won't rush him either. Okay. <clears throat> well, first, congrats, keeper, on you guys uh, starting off with a great win to the tournament. Um, just taking a look at your bowling, you used about uh, seven bowlers in your attack. Um, was this the strategy, or you know just uh, reacting that uh, nothing was coming off the pitch? Or was it this a strategy that you would use about uh, seven bowlers in the team? We're quite fortunate. We we've got a lot of all rounders that we can that we can turn to. But you know we're hoping to just maybe use the, the five, probably our, our main five bowlers today. Um, but like I said, our see our seamers were a bit off the mark. Uh, I thought Tatara bowled really well up front. Um, but but uh, Brian and Javi were maybe a bit off. So. You know that's that's why we had to turn to to Malcolm and Cephas. Um, yeah, but I thought uh, Roz bowled exceptionally well, uh, as he has done for us for a long time. So, you know, it's always nice to have you know two, three guys we can rely on. Great. Mm -hmm. uh, were you guys looking at bowling them out at one point in time, or just to uh, put them under pressure and let the run rate uh, skyrocket? Yeah, we we definitely wanted to bowl them out, but I th we we thought the way to bowl them out was was to create a bit of pressure, not go searching for wickets, but you know, build a couple of tight overs, and, and they'll and they'll eventually have to come at us, and that's where we're going to get our wickets. But unfortunately, when 
when someone was bowling well one side were leaking from the other end so we didn't quite create that pressure that we wanted to hence they got that's why they got 270 or whatever they did but you know hopefully hopefully we'll come on Tuesday and we'll be a bit better at that but yeah we definitely win a one of all teams are you know get 10 wickets always always good for the confidence for a bowling unit still talking about the bowling uh, seems that Simas didn't really get much uh, on, on this track uh, and temptation to probably play uh, maybe Chisoro in the next game yeah we'll definitely talk about that tomorrow um now we'll, we'll also have to see what 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 wicket we might get uh, it might be similar there might be a bit more grass from what i've seen out there so it, it we'll have to assess that probably tomorrow um and the morning possibly of the game but it will be a talking point definitely because you know chisoro is you know he's he's one of he's one of our better spinners and you saw how he fielded today and and he can bat also so yeah it'll definitely be a talking point tomorrow and yeah we'll see come tuesday all right graham thanks a lot for your time well done today and all the best thank you the rest of the tournament. thank you didn't it uh, certainly, like uh, whether it's an ODI or or, or, a list, or just a list day, at the end of the day for us it's a qualifiers, and we wanted to uh, send a strong message. We wanted to start well. There were a lot of negativity surrounding our team when we went away on on our tours to Bangladesh and Dubai. So, so I thought it was very important, and the batting unit was under a lot of pressure, and uh, so I thought it was really important um, to try and to try and have a good good total on the bird. I wasn't maybe I wasn't at the start looking at 380, um, but then again I think. Just, just kept middling and, and, and it went flying as well. So luckily, felt quite blessed with that inning. But I thought the real heroes of the of the game were Solomon and May at the start. I thought they led a good 77 run partnership. I thought those two did a fantastic job. Um, and and going back on our away tours as well, we haven't had that start. So for them to carry on like that, and they got it pretty quickly as well in eight overs. Um, Hammy got unlucky, and then I thought the way um, Craig Irvin and BD batted, I mean, showed maturity, showed a lot of character. Um, they kept the ball on the ground, and they kept grinding and grinding. Um, so I thought, I thought to me, the real stars of the game were two openers, and and and, and Craig and Brendan. And uh, perhaps a word on the the support that the team got today. I know it was a small crowd to start with, but they came in in the afternoon, um, and they certainly seemed to enjoy your efforts. Um, <laughs> Um, how, how did that feel? Uh, felt 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 great to be honest. Like uh, uh, Queens, Queens, que uh, on a weekend, Queens always get a good crowd in, and it's quite a quite a funny crowd as well. We get so they keep they keep us going as well with a lot of jokes and a lot of humour. Um, but I thought to see all those numbers that came out of all ages, I thought that was fantastic. As so a kids, um, ladies, um, gentlemen, even. Even uh, I remember my my few family members came along as well. Um, some of our uh, some of our friends' uh, parents were here as well from the team, so that was great as well. So it was just brilliant to have all that support today. Well, I'm sure that you know that uh, well. Afghanistan lost to of course to, to Scotland. How does that uh, make you guys feel as a team? And how do, how do you see the game turning out on uh, Tuesday against uh, Afghanistan? Um, uh, brother, I think uh, what's what's done is done, and uh, we said it on a lot of occasions that the game against Afghan is, is certainly a special game. Um, people people have called it a grudge match. People have called it in all different ways. For me, it's just a game of qualifiers that we have to win because come that 24, 25, when the final is, we need to be there. We need to lift that trophy. We have seen pictures of Graham with that trophy. We want to make sure we keep that trophy in Zimbabwe. And we want to give um, smiles, happiness, joy to the 15 million people that are supporting us. And suddenly to see all house full today suddenly gives us even more confidence to go into um, Afghan game and try and get a positive result out of that as well. Obviously a disappointing tour in uh, Sharjah against uh, Afghanistan last month. Uh, what do you guys think you need to change or have, what have you discussed about the way you played then and the way you're going to tackle them in a couple of days' time? Um, I think conditions will be a lot different. Plus, I think what we didn't have are the fans and the supporters that came in numbers. Um, it was quite a... a, 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 a for, for opposition, I'm pretty sure it's quite intimidating when, you know, when you're feeling on the ropes and you have so many people behind you. So uh, people better hold on to their nerves when they come to Buloy and, and anyone in Harare as well when the crowd is behind the team. It suddenly helps us a lot. For us, I, I thought our, our, our game plan is a lot clearer, you know. I think... Um, our focus is much better now, and I'm pretty sure with a performance like that, our confidence and our heads are a lot higher, and we're going we're gonna to walk into that game with a, with, a, with, a, with a positive and a different attitude, and rightly so.
Um, firstly, congrats to Skipper on the uh, ton that you scored. Thank you. Uh, on a lighter note, uh, were those a few stern words that you had to say to Cephas uh, after dropping that catch? Um, it seemed as if you had a few words to <laughs> say to Brandon Taylor as well. Um, not stern words, but look, we set quite a high standard. And 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 if if you think because we, you got 380 on the board and, and you can let few things slip by, it's not going to happen. Um, um, Cre Creams, Creams got a lot on the plate as well, so I, I just try and help him as much as I, I, I can. Um, I thought it was it was maybe no Seifert coming into the squad playing the qualifiers. So I think it was just just kind of stern, uh, not not so much aggressive, but stern was to tell him to wake up. Um, but look, he's a he's, he's a good fielder as well. It happens, it happens to the best of the fielders as well. But because we set quite high standards for ourselves, we just I just personally wanted to make sure we follow those standards. Come tomorrow, come Tuesday, it's a, it, it it can be a game where you can either win by a blinder of a catch or you lose it by a drop. Um, and we also have our goal where we want to be the best fielding side in the in the tournament as well. So that's why I wanted to make sure that we keep the standard high. And not being able to pull them out, all out after posting 380, does that disappoint you in, in, in any way? Uh, Michalili, uh, like Graham mentioned, it was slightly difficult for Seamus to take wickets, but having said that, to take still managed to take um, seven or eight wickets, I think. Um, it, it is quite rewarding, but yes, you're right. We would love to ball team out, so that's one of our goals as well. And, and come Tuesday, that's, 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 a, that's an area that we're certainly going to go after, and we want, to, we want to take ten wickets each game we go out there. Just one last question on today's performance. Skanda, you've been brilliant with the bat for Zim over the last 18 months or so. Um, but normally you come in and you ride the tide and then you get on with the business later on. Today you came out with a totally different mindset. Um, do you know, we just couldn't wait to be out there. Uh, there were a lot of messages we received as a team. Um, and I've, I've said it out loud as well that, that for me this team is bound to brothers. If the, if the criticism is not at me, if it's to a brother of mine, it still hurts me. I thought I came out with a lot of pain um, of all the negative messages that my teammates and myself have received. There's no joy in performing and having to hear bad things about your teammate or to your team losing. There's no joy in that, not, and certainly not for me. So I came out with all those emotions, but I just wanted to direct them and channel them in the right way, a right way where we can get a good toll on the board, win it convincingly and shows that this band of brothers have qualities to win um, the qualifiers. All right, Raz, well played today. All the best Thank for you. the rest of the Thank tournament. You.